G'day folks, welcome to Billy Metals channel, I'm Toby and uh, today I'm here to talk about um, tin cry or tin scream as it's called uh, which is a phenomenon when tin metal, a bit of tin there, is uh, bent it re releases a bit of a strange uh, sort of sound I'd refer to it more as a tin whimper or a, a tin squeak because uh, it's not that loud as you can hear there so what actually causes this, uh, as you bend the tin, tin crystal structure it uh, twins and that twinning moves through the metal and the site that's got the energy applied, the bending forces applied it'll move through that structure at um, supersonic speeds and uh, you end up with a strange noise. Now it's not unique to tin, you also get it with zinc which I have a piece of an end of a bit of cast zinc there uh, cadmium, solid mercury, frozen mercury and there's a few other metals as well, I think indium is one also. So I've just got a piece of uh, zinc and a piece of tin now, I'm going to um, do a bit of a close up and see if we can capture some of that sound uh, we've got cadmium and mercury and various other metals here but start with the, uh, the non-toxic ones so we'll zoom in on these, I'll uh, turn the sound right up using the magic of uh, video editing software and we'll capture the different sounds from these two different metals Alright, starting off with our piece of tin Is the uh, the piece of high purity zinc. A bit harder to bend this one. Oop, snapped. See the crystal structure in that there as well. Interesting. It's actually quite a bit louder with the uh, the zinc. Much less um, ductile and uh, malleable metal zinc. So there you go, zinc is a lot louder, but um, tin is a bit more of a, a reusable proposition so you can uh, get quite a bit of um, demonstration out of it if you're going to use these for a, uh, a demonstration into the tin cry. If you start to uh, fatigue your tin and it stops uh, squeaking, stops doing the cry, you can uh, heat it just up to um, a little bit below its melting point and it'll anneal, reset the crystal structure and uh, we'll do it all over again. Zinc would probably do that too if it didn't uh, snap when you're doing the uh, the bending. So yeah, another fascinating thing about tin, uh, yeah, not much else to say about it really. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you found the video interesting. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. There'll be plenty more videos coming, and uh, I'll stop waving this bit of tin around and see you on the next video.